Hello everyone, my name is Hi My name is Hinda Building? What? My name is Hector Doomhammer! And welcome to this week's stream of Mental Omega. Yes, on good the, evening everyone. On the other I am uh, my yeah. name is uh, I am uh, Rip for her pleasure. And I will be joining Doomhammer tonight on this stream. Right. So, hello, Doomy. What are we playing? Uh, Stupid question. Mental Omega. Who is yeah. playing? Who's playing? Uh, that's who. That's who. I find that helps a lot. Alright, so we finally right. got started. Put Off we go. Your FPS yeah, just counter. Hold, hold your horses. Let's wait until. Uh, Let's let's see what happens now. The first few seconds, it's gone quite well. Yeah. So it looks like that we so it, we don't at least have a decent. So That's far, quite an improvement. Yep. So yes, Doom. What have you been? Uh, what have you been up to today? Because I saw that you were quite busy doing preparations for that uh, brand new uh, stream thing you were doing on uh, Friday. Yes, this upcoming Friday I will be uh, streaming a new mod on my channel. It's Colony Wars by Mr. Atomic Noodles. And I've been oh doing some guess. talks yesterday with a YouTube personality about joining me as a co-commentator in the near future. Yes, a, uh, let's, a Let's Player you were talking about, yeah. right? I think think one who is reasonably popular with doing uh, classic CNC net, uh, Command & Conquer net play, uh, Let's Plays. Who yeah, wasn't Martinals? Yeah, he's uh, he's played a couple of uh, classic CNC games, including uh, Red Alert 2, even Yours Revenge, Tiberian Sun as well. Generals. Oh, that's. Nice. And uh, he's currently doing a let's play of Mental Omega. He's on the Epsilon campaign. He's just playing them in order. And uh, yeah, I've been talking to him yesterday because apparently uh, some of the viewers on my channel would really. Uh, were interested in seeing him as a co-commentator on my streams, and after oh, that's nice. And I'll say after enough uh, requests for that, I decided to just give it a go, just uh, contact him, and he was interested. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's lovely. That's nice. That's pretty neat. But yes, I was wondering, indeed, since you were doing that stream and not coming to my housewarming party, you fiend. Oh, I will. I'll just be a little you put, later. You dare, you dare pass up the chance to have nice music and grilled burgers and alcohol. Uh, dude, I actually said that I will be there only a little later. Yes, I know. You would, you, would, you, would be a bit, you would be a bit later, which is still inexcusable. You pass up the chance to meet beautiful ladies. And lacking that, I will probably just dress up one of my friends in drag and make up. As long as it's not me that you're gonna uh, dress up. No, no, no! Don't be silly. I know you already do that in your spare time. No I... need to. Uh, no need to further indulge in your fantasies. <laughs> but my, it is getting quite a bit busy here now in the center of the map. Uprising and Admiral rushing to all the uh, to all the tech buildings here. Just try to just to grab everything up. I see. Grill burgers, yes. Zenithus is uh, going to host a uh, housewarming party, and uh, there's going to be yes. uh, a little barbecue there as That's well. Not... Yeah, there's going to be quite a lot of people as well. It's uh, I expected about. Well, I invited fifteen people. I expected eight, and I ended up with twenty-five. Really? Yes. So it's going to be quite cozy. Yes, and then you didn't even invite. Uh, uh, Thayer and uh, RP. Well, Fear perhaps could come along. I mean, he's more than welcome if he wants to join. I'm not sure if he has to work that day or anything. No, but uh, RP could RP something. couldn't come. RP, he's he would he's off in uh, in Krautland, going undercover. Uh, yes. For when uh, for when the Netherlands wins or loses, then he can uh, very he can either uh, rub it in their in their German faces or uh, party with them. <laughs> Yeah, it's either or. Yes, and exactly. There's literally nothing in between for him. He's poor guy. He's our double agents. Yeah, so I he's our double uh, agent over Mr. there. Mr. Sonic E over here has already garrisoned uh, the two buildings near his starting position, sending out two engineers probably to mm. try and capture these two oil derricks. Warrior Gold D just managed to capture these two oil derricks. Uh, and uh, yeah, it seems that uh, 
Admiral Clinton Uprising JC were moving forward relatively fast Uprising, uh, both of them already captured the uh, airfields uh, See the artillery cannon over here captured, not this one yet, but the oil derricks have been captured And on this side, Jaguar tank moving over there, probably to scout it out Some uh, infantry inside of the buildings here, same over here, although it's not really that necessary Uprising JC starting to wall off his radar Oh, an uprising JC uh -huh. surprisingly actually playing as the Latin Confederation rather than yes. the usual European alliance. And Admiral Pitt, of course, playing as China because we haven't talked about that uh, it that much. Uh, who was oh, uh, so who is Sonic E playing as again? Is it HQ? Did I see that correctly? Uh, yes, HQ indeed. And uh, where will be playing as China as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, 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 I believe so. No, where Goldie is, uh, is Russia here. Russia? Today. Huh? Yes. Okay. So, I see that uh, she's already started Admiral to... Admiral uh, being, uh, yeah. I see that she already started to wall off uh, a piece of the line here, probably for their uh, well, war palace right then and there. She's going naval right away. I do see. I've got a couple of dune riders here in the water as well. And so far... Oh, it seems that uh, Warrior Gold D is the only one to have gone naval. Uh, the, the gene plug is in the Pandora hub. I see a invader, another invader just popped out there. And yeah, it's just a matter of building up their bases. I see some... Uh, oh, the rider is probably going to go for the... Uh, yeah, right there. Yes, I'm seeing Admiral Pitt doing quite a bit of uh, base, uh, quite a bit of base walking here. Probably see if he can uh, reach out to the uh, middle here. In the middle, which would be that, which, uh, would, which would be a great choke point. So that's quite a neat idea to do. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, got some uh, paratroop right here in the middle. Although the airfield has been destroyed, so that was Uprising's only uh, paratroop. That is a shame. A shame indeed, a shame indeed. Too but, bad for him. But... Here comes uh, Admiral Pitt's power drop. Yeah. He knows he's got to defend that error field reasonably well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he knows he's got to defend that air... that air... Uh, that airport reasonably well. Oh, the invaders. So he'll probably be... Uh, so he'll, be, he'll probably be... Uh, moving those infantry rather quickly into that battle bunker he just placed there. Yeah, although he needs to prioritize those invaders really fast. Uh, I did notice that Upra uh, that uh, Admiral Pitt has captured the north um, oil derrick over here, garrisoned some infantry in the building over there, and captured the uh, artillery bunker. I don't think it has to reach to, re uh, to uh, fire all the oil derricks here, but if it does, he should totally do it. Hmm, yes. Say, so, Doom, could you, uh, you seem to have a couple of issues with your mic still, because it does sound a bit echoey on your side. A bit echoey. I thought echoey. for a second that might be my headphones, but apparently it's, uh, something on, uh, on your side. I don't know what it is, because I am in the uh, same position as I usually am, and I haven't done anything regarding, uh, my audios yet. Ah, oh, that's, that's odd. Might want to check that then, because uh, maybe after the stream. Because mm -hmm. right now you sound a bit tinny. Well, I'm like you're, actually uh, leaning over more towards my microphone right now. So I hope it is somewhat mitigated this way. Dear oh dear. Although they apparently, on your stream it seems to be fine, but on my stream it seems to uh, sound a bit different. Yeah, that, I'm that not is sure what I, that is. That is something I noticed during uh, editing uh, of uh, the previous couple of streams, is that uh, on my end, I sound perfectly fine, but when I mute my side uh, so that the video will be uh, hearable on your side, it mm -hmm. does sound a lot different. So it's definitely not me. And that's odd. But I would think again, that would generally be the same, because it's being... Re it's. Um, being recorded through the stream and not through the speakers. That's quite a bit odd. I don't know what's going on with that either. But what I do know is that Uprising JC has gone naval, already having a dreadnought out, a couple of vultures. Mm. And that uh, his Nova York was attacked by, I guess, Warrior. Yes, Gold. good. Very good. This uh, this map is absolutely about, about naval domination. I think 
almost everyone, anyone who has played this map knows that um, the key to winning the, the, this and any other Bay of Pigs map in general is taking control of the waters around the players as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Yuru Borillo incoming. I do know there's a Borillo over here. I don't know if it contains Yunru. But knowing Admiral Pitt, it wouldn't surprise me. I also happen to notice that he's sending out a couple of uh, dragonflies. I crazy Ivan is joining there as well. Mm. Uprising is sending out a couple of tanks. Just to defend this little area, this choke point. Oh. Looks like Sonic is going for a uh, move here with his basilisks. Yeah. Oh, taking this? out some of the, uh, taking some out of some of the tech buildings. Uh huh. Clever, of course. And Morales is going to go for yep. that structure right there. Bam. <laughs> but uh, yes, today I seems to. Uh, it looks. It looks like I'm picking up the raw audio, indeed, as Cody just stated. How odd, mm -hmm. because usually, uh, I think several streams back, we didn't have this problem. So I'm I not exactly sure what's... Co this is the first time I've actually noticed, it's actually been noticeable. So uh, I might have to check up on that, why that is, uh, why that is the case. I don't know what is the case on your end, but uh, I do remember that back in the day when we still used uh, TeamSpeak, we had some issues as well. Yes, with TeamSpeak there were some problems. Mm -hmm. There were some audio issues, that's that's true. Uh, we weren't able to quickly f enough fix them, and so we decided to go back to uh, to Skype here. Mm -hmm. And thus far, we stuck with it. It seems that uh, Uprising JC is base crawling to the center as well. Admiral Pitt now also has a naval yard. Yes, although, they're, all they're all trying to, uh, although to get a hold say, on this choke point. His, uh, the placing of his naval yard could have been better, though. Mm hmm. And well, it's not terrible, but no, it's, it's just it's not, not enough. It's not terrible, but it's, it's an odd place. I wouldn't be uh, placing my stuff over there. And, mm -hmm. oh, Shadow Tanks here. By Sonic E. Ooh, nice try there, Warrior Girl, putting in some. Uh, Rhino tanks around the back, trying to take out the nuclear uh, reactor uh, uprising. But the luckily, there were luckily there were several dragonflies uh, placed there by Pit as a defense. Mm -hmm. So that seems that seems to have sorted itself out. Luckily. In the meanwhile, looks like we've got uh, a little attack going on here from uh, uprising here, taking out several of Warrior Girl D's subs. Better be careful for Volkov, though. He will be able to detect subs, I believe, here. So he would uh, be able to easily take care of them. Yeah. And we've got both Iron Curtains out on... Uh, or actually, one Iron Curtain on Uprising side and one on Warrior Gold D side. Although, I think... Warrior Gold D actually placed it inside of Sonic East base. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Uprising making... Yes, I, little, guess uh, she, I guess she believes that it would be safer there. Due to her currently now being under attack. Yeah, seeing the Dreadnought is now going for uh, one of her oil derricks. That's gonna go boom any second now. Mm -hmm. Pretty much no anti air uh, for uh, Warrior Girl D in the back though, so those Vultures could actually uh, quickly take care of uh, Vulcan and Shetskoy. Yeah, if they're quick. Better watch out for those Scuds though. They, yeah. may, they would make easy targets as well, actually, so. Wouldn't be a yeah, bad idea to go for them as well. That's gonna happen right now, although the vultures aren't doing that much damage to them, of course. Ooh, Dreadnought. Scud, uh, Scud missiles barely missing the Dreadnought. Ooh, yeah. Very close. Well, we've got a wolf on the, in the air now, so uh, I'd say goodbye, uh, vultures. Yes, unfortunately, vultures aren't uh, really fantastic uh, anti-air units when it comes to uh, vehicles, which is something the uh, Latin Confederation seem to be lacking a little bit in. Yeah, but in comparison again, they, to the other Soviets, they do have a. Uh, uh, what was the word I was looking for again? 
I wouldn't know what exactly were you thinking of. Vultures and their... Uh... No, not the vultures. I was thinking about the catastrophes. Uh, versatile. Oh, versatile. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I mean, Indeed. that tank is very versatile because, of course, it all depends on what you put in, what kind of infantry you put mm -hmm. in. Um, yeah. Uh, against armor, you know, you've, you've got your... Uh, oh, got a little shadow tank uh, meet up here, over here. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, excellent gene burst successfully used here. Got a couple of Ooh, free that's roots. Nice. That's nice. Sweet. Risen railgun in the back as well, trying to do some more damage. Oh, going for Morales, of course. And Morales has just gotten out of reach there. Too bad, too bad. And of course, the nasty thing about uh, the Shadow Tanks is, is the fact that when Morales actually uses his uh, Kill Driver Warhead on them, mm -hmm. well, that won't happen because the Shadow Tanks just killed them. Then I believe the Shadow Tanks will actually remain in, uh, invisible. Yes, that's correct. At least in uh, the current version, yes. Okay. In Beta Revision Two, they will just in Beta Revision Two they will decloak, so that you will be able to capture them. Ah, excellent. Well, because I believe Which otherwise, otherwise you would have to have a uh, stealth detection unit there as well. Yeah, yeah not yeah, exactly I... very practical. No. And it seems that the Scots are trying to take care of the tanks over here, but uh, might want to be. Not with a lot of luck. Oh, if by the way, uh, if you're adept at using, at using it. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, this is literally what I was talking about. Uh, I see the uh, semi-transparent husk of the uh, shadow tank right next to the oil, uh, oil derrick. Yeah. And I believe oh, yeah. that no one would be able to see that. No one would be able to see that now. Ooh, Ooh. there we go. Wolfhounds versus oh, so got a couple of sea coming in. there as well. Nice, good all-round uh, naval here. Yes, it, this would indeed this would force Warrior Girl to build a lot more anti-air, which uh, could allow uh, Uprising or Admiral Pitt to uh, use that as a rather large distraction in order to focus more on ground-based assault. Yep, which wouldn't be a bad idea either way. Nope, and uh, in it the would meantime, definitely be assaulting her from multiple. In the meantime, yeah. Shadow E has Definitely gone naval too. Ooh, good, good, Got good. Little, yes. Uh, sure Though I'm not here. sure if it's uh, if it's too late already. I don't know. Because either, of course but... you have to be you have to be rather quick about this kind of thing. Yeah, well, we've got a little sure assault going on here. I see a single Sea Wolf going after a single power plant. Mm -hmm. And oh, Psychic Dominator. Ooh. The game's afoot. Yes. They're not uh, they're not pushing around here. Nope. 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 I see a lot of sea walls being built here by uh, Warrior Girl D. Mm. And I don't think those dreadnoughts are going to do that much, especially with the added anti air defense here. Uh, see the even that, Warrior, that uh, Shadow E, or sorry, Sonic E, uh, lend a helping hand. Volkov is moving in. Let's see if he can reach those uh, sea walls. No. No, actually, he can. Ooh, yes! He totally can. But of course, no, he's he probably could... gonna have to. He's probably forced to retreat as soon as. Uh... Ooh, he might be able to get a shot, another shot off to. Uh... No, no. He was able to kill one sea wolf and probably would have been able to kill another. But yeah. uh, unfortunately, it seems he's been forced to retreat uh -huh. for now. Yeah, we got a little uh, submarine battle going on over here between Uprising and JC and Warrior Girl D. Let's see. Uh... What's going on over here? Pretty much nothing so far. Yes, Uprising GC is pretty much overwhelming her right now. Mm -hmm. so better watch out for Volkov though. Ooh! Overcharge buff there. I heard. That oh, is going to be here. very, very I painful. See. I see. Nice. Although Volkov is nearly dead. It's like just one or two more shots. Iron Curtain activated. Nice. Ooh, and right on time. That is painful. And in return, another Iron Curtain as well on the other subs. So this is pretty much ending up in a stalemate. But of course she activated it later. Um, so with a little luck she'll be able to get in a couple of free shots before yeah. uh, the other subs can be... Uh, the, before the other subs uh, mm -hmm. 
retreat or kill them. And in the meantime, the Forge Dreadnought's firing at the base here has done pretty much nothing. Because Warrior Goldie just seems to be adding anti-air defense. The Wolfhounds, of course, are doing some damage too. Mm -hmm. Just the amount of uh, Vultures here, wow. Yes, and that was still all not enough to kill Volkov. They are tier 3 anti-infantry, so... I don't know. I have heard whispers that their uh, anti-infantry uh, weaponry would be buffed. No. Because they certainly do need it. What? Or at least they certainly... They certainly I think I, I've always found Vultures to be rather... And Seeds Choppers back in the day as well to be rather... They did, I'm not sure if they actually justified their... Uh, existence as a tier 3 unit. Yeah, they would be more viable as a tier 3. You would have to swarm with them. I mean, again, really uh, what you had back then was um, their first talent and their speed as a siege weapon, which made them incredibly powerful in the right hands. Mm -hmm. But uh, what with Beta Revision 2, with them having different weapons now, they uh, probably might get a buff in uh, different sections there. Which is something I hope. Wolfhound's actually chasing away the uh, Dreadnoughts, Vultures and Seawolves here. There are only two Seawolves left. And of course mm -hmm. they won't survive. Yeah, so he's going to he's gonna be, have to be reasonably careful with those. Because uh, Wolfhounds are generally very powerful uh, burst damage. As you can see, they just burst down two Seawolves there. In no time. In no not time, even, absolutely. Not even the Vultures can do that much. No, the vultures, they're, they're not really used for an, for heavy anti-armor. Nope. It's not their thing. Yeah, that's right. You need to use Typhoons against uh, Wolfhounds. <laughs> oh, but it well, seems that... Uh, can't warrior... take them, so that's a good thing, I guess. It seems that one of Warrior Goldie's naval yards has been destroyed or sold out. I hear... Oh. Admiral Pitt trying to make another... Uh... Sure assault, I guess. Got a couple of uh, sea wolves over here. Just getting shot, uh, sunk by the uh, railgun. Hmm. The game has frozen for me. Hmm. Player. Looks like the game froze for her. And a desync. Good day. Oh, and a desync. Good night. Wow. Be vaccinated against. I think it was. Oh yeah, it's B. Yeah. It's B. One. Of, I thought it was one of the one of the hepatitis. Indeed, you're right. One of the hepatitis can be. Uh, you can be vaccinated for. I know. Player defeated. And I had to. And I'm not sure which one. It's uh, It's B I because I had one. to be uh, vaccinated for that. So. Oh right, I see. I see. Well, the map is uh, jungle boogie for those that have missed it. And uh, yes, there are elephants. Look, elephants. Jungle. Gators. And I believe even a couple of monkeys here and there. And a renegade uh, tank husk. <laughs> I think there are monkeys somewhere. Are there? Are there? Yes, there are. There are. Monkeys! There are. And a lion. Is this. Is this. this is, you could pretty much describe a children's book here. Welcome yes. to Doomy's Jungle Buggy. Do you see children? It is an alligator. Alligators are quite nice when yes. you're not near them and not in the same pool as they are. <laughs> right, or unless your so name is Steve Irwin. Then stingrays aren't nice. Yeah, May he exactly. rest in peace. May he rest in peace. So Uprising already, uh, he's actually playing as the European Alliance this time, so he's back in the uh, saddle. Who, Steve Irwin? No, Uprising JC, I'm talking about oh, the all game. Oh, alright. Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. Um, oh, so was I. So was I. <laughs> it is I, Boris, who is not here. Oh, goodness. Don't, don't open up that painful wound, man. Well, luckily, I still uh, play and stream a mod where Boris is in, so mm -hmm. I can. Ha ha. Ha ha. 
Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. But yes, uh, RP and I have been uh, talking through uh, the uh, future map editor today, what's going to look like, what, uh, mm -hmm. it would ha what kind of features it would have. And uh, next week I will start with uh, creating a bit of a mock-up to show what it would uh, look like and what kind of function it would have. And then we're going to do a little bit of work on it so that we have something visually to, uh, something visceral to present. And uh, after that, we will probably go to uh, the usual for the usual forums. Probably start out on PPM, move on to the next Command and Conquer uh, websites and forums, and spread the word. But that's of course all future talk for now, because right now we're still we're still in the uh, in the planning and uh, conceptual phase. But yeah, it's gonna be good. We'll uh, we'll be that that's that's one of our projects that we'll be uh, working on for all is a better map editor. Because currently, right now, as uh, some people may know, we currently now have a, an edited version of, uh, of Final, Final Alert 2, Final Final Omega, indeed, mm -hmm. and that will that will do just fine right now. But we uh, RP was it was it did have some ambition to create something entirely his own that would have some needy, uh, so a lot of neat features that the original Final Alert 2 either didn't have or didn't really implement as well as some people would wish they did. So hopefully we, we were thinking that it would be great if we could make a map editor that was just as user friendly as the more modern uh, programs that we currently have. Well then. So that's what, I've, that's what I've been doing today, all day. I've actually been playing a bit of Saints Row 4 today. That is equally awesome. Messing around, not even that much with the story actually, but just messing around. Uh, I think that the I think that di messing and dicking about is the raison d'être of uh, Saints Row 4. Yeah. Unlike, course. say, for instance, that's I think that's something that, uh, for instance, Grand Theft Auto has forgotten. That they really they really do what Grand Theft Auto has uh, a lot of talent behind it. To, uh, to to create some great and interesting stories. It's just a shame that the game format does not very support doesn't support that very well. Open worlds really really uh, throw the pacing of a story completely off balance because you don't have to do the story. You can just muck about for a couple of hours and then come back. It just takes away a bit of the feeling of it, and that's something that Saints Row understands and absolutely toys with. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Okay, I was just waiting until you were absolutely finished. Uh, yes, so I'm let's, absolutely let's talk about the game. I see that uh, Shadow E here in uh, Magenta has got a couple of uh, Rocketeers out, just build his first Warhawk, and also has uh, two Storm Children, uh, Storm Childs, out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, all Oil Derks have been captured. In the meantime, Shadow E has captured. Uh, the one in the south central position, Admiral Pitt has captured the one in the north central position, right there. So, both of these players will have a better economy, slightly. I'm following mm. the uh, Warhawks at, or the uh, Stone Childs at the moment, seeing that they're gonna try and do go against the Miner, probably, somewhere. Oh, yes indeed. No, they're gonna go after a I, kill attack. No, 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 no. No. Ah. Oh dear. Saints Row 2 is the best open world game ever. Well, honestly, this is the very first Saints Row game that I've been playing, so... I yeah, I'd pick up Saints Row 2. It's, it's excellent as well. I can't judge. It's it's very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Oh, seems that Admiral Pitt is just placing a couple of them uh, EMP mines. You can hear the sound I would when they... You can hear the sound uh, if you're hovering over that area. Uh, that he places them, and of course they are visible for a brief second. Mm, guess that he's placing them maybe around here, I guess. I wouldn't know. Maybe over here. But uh, yeah, he's just uh, making a nice little wall around his base, I guess. EMP mines, he loves to use them. So, added defense, of course. Here's that uh, Shadow E might have misplaced his uh, power plant over here. Ooh, we are talking. Uh, it looks like we've started a bit of an open world discussion uh, 
on your chats. I see Infamous and Prototype, both I found equally amusing. Both I think, I uh, pro it, pro yes. well, you should, you should definitely get, you should definitely pick up, uh, both of them. I think, although in Infamous, unfortunately, is only, I think, a PlayStation exclusive, I believe. Uh -huh. But, uh, what if the, but I, uh, I mean, Rockstar definitely has, uh, has got a quite a couple of, uh, nice titles. I mean, for the Nintendo Wii, uh, for the Nintendo Wii, I have, uh, Bowie Scholarship, uh, Scholarship Edition and, uh, God for the Black Hand Edition, and I really enjoy both games oh. a lot. Oh, got a yes, story. I remember that. I remember there being such a massive hullabaloo about uh, Bully. Bully back in the back in the heyday when it was just uh, released. Yep. Kind of basically basically the same story as with Grand Theft Auto being a murder simulator. I wonder when I, because of course there has been quite an influx on simulator games on Steam. Yes. If anybody's picked up on uh, some of those, Goat Simulator, Grass Simulator, Surgeon Simulator, etc. Mm -hmm. I wonder when there will be a time a co that comes where there's an utterly generic first-person shooter and it will be called Murder Sim... Or like an open-world game, a very bland one, it, it would be called Murder Simulator. Or, I don't know... <laughs> Hack Simulator. Prostitute Killer Simulator. <laughs> Though I think, that's already, I think that already exists. I think it's called Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> Well, would there ever be a prostitute simulator then? Ooh, that is a very good question. A, a, prostitu a prostitute simulator? Um, now you can teach I'm your daughter sure. how that's, to be that's a actually, prostitute. That's actually kind of a, that's actually a rather intriguing question. Yeah, I don't think that's something that the game industry would want to tackle right now. <laughs> well, maybe Rockstar should do it. Rockstar tackle? I, I don't know. I don't know. It it would be interesting to see them try something like that. I admit. Uh -huh. I don't really see how you would make it an interesting game, though. Does how would you put something like that into a game context? Interesting game is just. Would it? Would a it game have? For my, my only. My question is only: Would it have like motion control? Motion control. Like for the uh, yes, yes, prostitute what? simulator with connect support. <laughs> that would be. That would be. That would be. That would. Be, that would Probably and it would probably have to make snapshots of you every half minutes. That would be incredible, and it would share that with with everyone on your Facebook. That would be incredible. That I'll would be game of the year within oh five days. What if I done? What if I yes. done? I will be. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should actually write a letter to EA or to Microsoft that they should get this. That they should make this game. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should propose it. I'll, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll email it to them. Otherwise, we'll do it. Yeah. I have no idea. Unfortunately, I can't do that here currently because we're now streaming. Uh -huh. Goodness. Yeah. So it seems that uh, oh, Roger, in the meantime, uh, had a little uh, aerial assault by Shadow E. Actually, managed to destroy the uh, science lab, putting uh, Roger back into tier, tier two. Uprising JC came in too late. See a lot of warlocks, a lot of rocketeers. Um, Robit now incoming with a uh, wall. Hmm. And of course, we can't forget our incoming meeting for uh, Gamescom. Yes, of course, that would be happening next month. Yes, and I am exciting stuff. And I am fully prepared. With yes, yes, you got your T-shirts, you got your uh, embossed business cards. Yes. Are they embossed? They're pretty boss. <laughs> no. They are. I know, I know they're boss, but are they embossed? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Mm, yes, I'm seeing a bit of discussion about the difficulty about the mod. Yes, we will be making uh, the easy... We will be making easy mode actually e genuinely easier. Easier, but still way too hard for casual gamers, of course. Mm. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, that, that is that is something that Speeder adamantly would, li would like to uh, hold on to. But basically, we're making a mod, which is part of its selling point, is that it's so very challenging. 
Now, where is that for? Though I do think I, I do think it's a bit of a combination of occasionally, yeah, bad bad design occasionally on our part, mm -hmm. and also a lot, of course, depends on the save function. Oh, we got a couple of spies coming in here. Uh, Admiral Pitt had some spies inside of his single Borillo that is all the way here in the bottom right. Spies now moving in. They're disguised as Tesla troopers. I would say you could you can check out the current uh, changes sabotaged. that are that are made, of course. Power sabotaged. Stolen Ooh. tech MCV. Stolen tech technology. That is nasty. And. Veteran vehicles. So, Admiral Pitt now has the ability to finally build some apocalypse tanks. Oh, that is nightmarish. And we haven't seen so, many of Well, them. we know who's going to win today. I think the the real battle will go on between Admiral Pitt and Uprising JC here. Mm hmm. Generally speaking. Yes. Yes, I do. I do. I would agree with order that some missions are a bit too trial and error, and we we do acknowledge that. That uh, and that will of course be fixed in due time. You can also check out the uh, current fixes that are being made because in Beta Revision Two there will be a lot of fixes to the missions. I think there's o there's only one co-op mission I believe that has been left untouched, and all the rest have been reworked. To uh, and and of course and the and on easy difficulties a lot of things have been added for instance extra reinforcements and uh, a couple of sections that don't happen such as some surprise paratroopers which I can attest are the donkey's balls so to speak mm -hmm. and for the viewers in my channel uh, for the viewers of your channel unfortunately are not able to see it but I just posted uh, a couple of links to the Mental Omega chat, uh, the Mental Omega website, of course, just give you some information. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we are looking for mission scripters. Ah, yes, excellent. Uh, because well, we, uh, we, cur we currently actually have all the maps for, beta for, the, uh, for Act 2 complete for now. We're just looking around for more people to help us, help us uh, script these missions. Because there is, I, will, I will say right now, there will be a lot of crazy shit happening in Act Two. Like oh, yeah. we, we, I, I, what I've heard, there's going to be a lot of limits pushed on what we can do with the game. I've heard that there's a couple of things that RP is working on as well in his uh, off time. Uh -huh. Oh, and uh, I believe that the the last missions. Got a little assault going on here. Uprising JC is going after uh, Shadow E. Well, in the meantime, I have taken the liberty to post that same link uh, advertising the uh, wanted mission scripters in your channel. Or in the okay, that's channel. good. That's great. That's excellent. Actually, you might even uh, uh, share the change log with everyone, which is fairly easy to find. It's just mental. It's it's mentalomega.com/slash/changelog. go. At least that should work, I believe. Try it out. Quite a light show here. Yeah, a lot of lasers going on. Mirage tanks being chased away. And I'm afraid that uh, Damn. all of the cheesiness of the missions are, is getting removed. No more uh, accidental capture the uh, enemy stuff to gain their technology and just make the mission ten times easier. Well, yes, of course, but that has less. That has more to do with that. Uh, that it would uh, occasionally, yeah, it would break missions like that on sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, seems that this little assault by uh, Uprising JC has failed. Unfortunately, I see the uh, Iron Curtain is ready now, but I also happen to notice there's a Chronosphere here in the meantime, Uprising side. And looking at it, Uprising is already preparing a nice little assault, got his uh, prison tanks uh, formed up almost. Mm -hmm. He's making uh, some Mirage tanks as well. 
There's a lot of uh, half tracks here on uh, Roger's side. He's currently building some uh, killing tanks. Just didn't learn from his mistake uh, that his technology got stolen, not walling off anything. So again, uh, you know, both Shadowy and uh, Admiral Pitt could just sneak in and steal again. Uh, you know, money, power, uh, technology. That would be very, very sneaky. If he could sabotage the radar again as well. For in general. Oh yeah, radar, radar sabotage. Oh, it seems that, that can actually... really muck up your day. It's very underrated. Yeah, it seems that uh, the assault was slightly successful because I'm suddenly missing uh, Shadow East uh, Air Force Command HQ. Ooh. Why do would I that see be? Apox? Do I see Apox? Do I see Apox? That's the question. Yes, do we see, do. Do you see apocalypses? Yes, we do. At least one. Veteran ones, in fact. Veteran, yes. And of course, we should see Turn some out, cyborg commandos or cyborg uh, prototypes. And I think cyborg prototypes. We've yeah. got them. Uh, we've got yeah, we we'll see right them here. There. Here we are. Ooh, this is good. This is nice. We can actually showcase a little bit of the apocalypse. That's nice. That doesn't happen very often, so that's quite a treat. Well, Forgotten Reaper, uh, tell us who your friend is, and uh, we might figure out why he got banned. Yes, what is your friend's name, uh, Forgotten Reaper? If, uh... I'm quite not interesting, actually. So we, don't, we don't actually... Surprisingly, we don't actually ban that often. Is he banned on like the IRC chat or on the stream? Oh goodness! Small fry six six. Ah, that uh, Doom remembers that. Well, I think this is. Uh, yes, I believe that's your uh, prerogative, isn't that? That's you. That's your purview, buddy. Well, back in that time, I uh, was the streamer and the moderator on that on the channel and. Uh, I just didn't tolerate that much spam, and Mr. Small Fry actually did spam a crap ton. To a point that it just annoyed me so much that I just decided to ban him. Well, it looks like he's back on the IRC now. On the IRC? <laughs> yes, oh, yes, he's. I, I believe. I believe he showed his face just up on the IRC. Yeah. Um, so it looks like somebody has taken the time to unban him. Well, no, that, that is just on the IRC, but not on the, the channel. Oh, not on the on the stream itself. Yes, I understand. And um, since I'm not a mod, uh, currently I see that you're the only mod. Perhaps. Uh, oh yes, I'm the only mod. Well, then uh, apparently it is now up to me if I should unban him or not. Yeah. Oh, well, Chronosphere uh, ready at least, not yet activated. But I also see a chronosphere here on the uh, Shadow East side. Hmm. Well, perhaps uh, if I give a little chat with him, because I believe that he was o he was only really annoying to you per se, right? Yeah, and as a streamer, I don't. Mm, yes, I mean at least I I remember when he was back in the streams as well, and he was more specifically targeting you. So, uh, I would say yes. How about I, uh, how about I unban him from uh, the Mental Meisters channel after we're done with the stream? Well, you can do it right now if you have the availability. Well, then unfortunately I'll have to uh, switch screens, so okay. doesn't look doesn't look particularly nice. It, okay, and I'd have then, to uh, see how to have to ban someone like that. But you know, I mean, you're on your own channel, so you it's it's your party there. You do whatever you like. I agree. But I think I'll unban him. Give him another chance. Sure. Give him a second chance. Alright, so, in the meantime, I see that Uprising JC is preparing his Chrono Assault. He's got a Stallion transport. Moving his uh, Siegfried and uh, his Prism tanks into position. Got a couple of mm -hmm. Thors in the air, got a couple of uh, Mirage tanks here. Mm -hmm. Yes. On. We want to see those Apox in action. Yeah. Show us. Ah, there's one. Any up to a group of Mirage tanks? I see. Wonder how that's going to work out for them. 
Oh, coming out their way. Well, that one camel tank is as good as gold, of course. But I think that uprising is gonna take the chance. Oh, EM oh! Pulse! Nice done, e Roger! Nicely Sit sitting done. ducks. Sitting ducks, they are Oh, but oh, counter and EMP! And the killing, of course, that is being. Just uh, terrible. The killing, of course, is uh, only half the time EMP'd. Bam! But a back warp actually countered the EMP here. On some of the mirrors. Oh, that things. is some sneaky use there. Excellent use. Well, well, excellent uses of the support powers here. Yes. Nice use. Thors are incoming. Uh, super weapons are ready, of course. I see that Admiral Pitt's got a second uh, construct or uh, MSV ready as well next to his uh, uh, Centurion Siege Crawler. Mm-hmm. See all the Aurora tier is up too. Pretty much not that much. And I seen I seen Harrier uh, actually hover above the uh, above Roger's base doing absolutely nothing. A little buggy here. Oh yes that yes, that occasionally uh, happens. Nothing. It happens. It's 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 nothing weak. It's something we really can't fix. It's an engine uh, flaw, I'm afraid. Yep. All right. So another uh, battalion of uh, mirages sent out, along with a couple of barracudas he spearheading it. Yep. Let's see where they. Are. Let's see what they're up to. Yeah, they're gonna fly around uh, past the gyrocopters. I think you might not take the risk uh, to take out a. Chronosphere. Uh, a bunker. Looks like they're going around south. What will Splitting they hit? Up. Splitting up. Yeah, no, 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 retreating again. No, they are going for the chronosphere. Chronosphere. And it is out. Yep. And this one. Nice, going for the. Uh, well, the runway oh, over there. Watch out for those uh, flag trap flag troopers, man. But nice little assault that actually worked out. Yeah, it worked out real, real well for him. Uh -huh. Prevent someone from chrono shifting there. What the Ooh. hell is going on over here? I'm seeing uh, some Shadow East uh, IFVs over here, near Admiral Pitt's base. I don't know what he just put in there. It's hard to see from here. Hmm. Wait! If I'm not mistaken... What, what is it? it no, that, that can't be heroes, of course. Can't be. What is it? I thought that uh, we, we saw some hero IFEs, but of course Yunru takes in two uh, passenger slots and that of course makes it impossible for her to enter an IFV. That's true. Ivan IFVs? I think. Ivan IFVs? No, that's something we don't yeah. see every day. You don't, no, you do not. Surprisingly, they are not just uh, smaller... smaller... Uh, trucks. Bomb buggies, demo trucks, yeah. Lob a grenade, be awesome. Yeah. Wow. Fair America. I'm just imagining a uh, a tank with a barrel that fires uh, like these comically oversized sticks of dynamite, <laughs> bundles of them, with these huge, uh, yeah, 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 like he's te like a Tex Avery comic. Uh huh. Well, I think that uh, uh, I'm thinking that uh, Shadow E might actually be the uh, first target here. Hmm. A lot of Thors in position. Again. Oh the yeah. Thors, is moving Thors barrages, a couple of rocketeers. Don't know if the, don't know if those uh, gyrocopters are going to be enough. And I don't think uh, he doesn't believe that either. He's moving them back. Shadow E in the meantime is. Uh, Made a second MCV and deployed it down here on the second uh, island. Probably want to get wants to get a uh, refinery up, but uh, he doesn't have that much room over there. Mm -hmm. so I don't know what he was thinking. Um, also surprised that, to see that he hasn't done anything with his Barracudas just yet. I'm seeing a couple of uh, or a whole bunch of uh, Abrams tanks. Just look at all that freedom. 
all that liberty. Still the terrier doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Silly. And uh, you also did notice that uh, Uprising now has a lightning storm out, right? Yes, he yeah. does. And a ready chrono shift. Yeah, but that's been ready. So they, they generally have now. they they in general have the super weapon uh, advantage here. Darn. And this is pro this is looking at uh, turning out to be quite rather large in scale, actually. I mean, yeah. we've got some exciting all, things all going players, on here. Yeah, all players are just uh, massing units uh, before they decide to go and eat the attack. It seems that uh, Uprising is the most aggressive out of all four players here. Mm, Not a big surprise there. Eh? Well, someone's got someone's uh, something's got to give. Yep. Someone's got to get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, I don't think it's going to be enough here. I mean, those. Uh, I don't know. It might. It might be. Tact oh, tactical nuke. I mean, gyrocopters do the... have the splash damage advantage. True, but tactical nuke has been built over here as well. And, uh, oh, arrow blazes going after the Thors. Ooh, somebody's built arrow blazes. Well, that's not happened in a long time. Good. Very good. Yeah. But of course, as uh, the United States, you want to have those. Especially against uh, the European Absolutely. Alliance. I mean, they are uh, indispensable. Mm -hmm. Oh, just moved away. And, uh, my mouse oh, we've got quite a bit out of Yeah. I think we've got like two nukes out, a lightning storm, and two chrono shifts, and a, an iron curtain. So there's quite a lot that's going to be going on in. Uh, reasonably soon in game time. Yep. I just hope that uh, they actually decide to use it. I mean, looking at Roger uh, Roger's base here, uh, he just set his tanks out in a defensive position along the entire uh, stretch of land here. But he's mm -hmm. not doing anything. He's just uh, idling. He's much. turtling up. I think uh, he's, uh, he's turtling up a bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of boring, if you ask me. Ways. He currently still has quite a bit of ore to keep him going, but uh, eventually it's, he's going to run out, and then he's going to have to expand. Yep. Uh, he's just moving his tanks. Even Uprising JC is uh, building some uh, stuff in his own in the uh, Rogers base here. Seems to be doing a bit of an eye of idling here. Place that over there, and I think that Uprising is waiting until his Lightning Storm is ready to make a nice little combination attack. Chronosphere has been rebuilt on uh, this side here, not attack the Kanook, I hope it would be it. Oh, sneaky dragonfly here up in the uh, far left corner. I see it. Not sure if uh, anyone spotted that. No, but I th it's coming down. Hmm. Useful for scouting. Yes, I'm w yes, but I wonder what. Well, I'm not sure if they're useful for scouting. They're not particularly. They don't. They're not exactly cheap to come by. No. Oh. Taking care Seems of he disabled the barracuda, but a couple Rocket of rocketeers have already coming. spotted him. Yep. So, not sure how much use that's going to be. Oh, Chronosphere activated! Ooh, Chronosphere activated! Behind Shadow East Base! Ooh! There we go! Painful! Whoa! And with Siegfried Base along for the road! Nice! Bam. EM Pulse! Oh, and an EM and Pulse! And an Iron Curtain on uh, Ooh, Siegfried! Oh, and an Iron Curtain on Siegfried! Killing Siegfried! Nice! Leaving the Mirage Tanks a sitting duck! Prison Tanks! Oh, the prism tanks, pardon me. Yes. And as you can see here, the back we're right there just to will, keep them temporarily set up. Deny EMP. Load up the battle lab. Go for the power. Bam. And that takes care of that little assault. 
And over yes, I'm afraid that. Uh, but 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 in comes uprising with this his brief mirage assault. Tanks. In the middle, nice EM pulse, excellent use. EMP in a couple yes, of this uh, this is the blazes. reason why the this this is one of the many reasons why the EM pulse will be nerfed in Beta Revision 2, and why it will uh, be a little bit more difficult to get it. Because it is it is such a very potent uh, support weapon. Mm -hmm. It should uh, it it should probably it sh it's uh, there's a reason it has its own separate building for it now. That's the Lotus, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. But the Warhawks, because there's no anti-air defense uh, near those Mirage tanks, the Warhawks are just going ballistic. No Thors in sight. Oh. Poor execution there, uh, Uprising. We're not used to see this. Now, Shadow E has gotten his uh, weather control device out as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're just missing the Iron Curtain here on uh, Roger's side, and we've got all super weapons out. Yes, I'm not exactly sure what uh, Brown is, Roger, right? Yeah. I think he's just sitting on that nuke, is my guess. Uh -huh. Because he is, uh, he's, he's playing a very passive role in this. He hasn't uh, actively. He hasn't done a lot of activity. Hmm. I think that he's. I yeah. I'm guessing he's just waiting for that nuke to happen. Yeah. Barracudas by oh, uprising oh, oh, in the he's air. Got, he's got. A, he's, he's sending a couple of uh, tanks forward against yeah. the Abrams. Oh, it doesn't seem to be having a lot of uh, Effect. use here, no. Seem to be taking out the killings quite easily, in fact. Cleverly, you, uh, Uprising, or uh, Shadow E, cleverly going after the uh, Sentinels first, take care of the anti air, and then uh, use the Rocketeers and the Warhawks to take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. so yes, apparently I'm getting some news here that Roger has only been playing this mod for two days, so, eh, give him some slack. Yeah, okay. Lightning Storm activated. As I see the uh, base waves uh, information to be teleported relatively soonish. Ooh, Ooh nice. Chronosphere activated and Lightning, Lightning Storm happening. Base waves in the back of Roger's base. Taking oh, out the nuke in a, sing in a single swift fell blow. Poor guy. And now the... <laughs> now the Harriers are finally doing Now something. the Harriers can, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Taking out the nuke reactor. This is gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Damaging the elephant. What's there to stop him? Ooh! Come on, elephant. Survive, survive. No! <laughs> elephant! Elephant! <laughs> Just kidding. 9th of... It's uh, July 9, 2014. An elephant died. Never forget. Yeah. Time of death, 2114. Uh, 2118. 2118? Mm-hmm. Goodness. My, uh... I must be... I must be sleeping on the job. I think that your clock is slightly behind. Yes. Well, a lot of damage has been done with the lightning storm. Lap is gone again. Yes, Roger has gone quite a heavy beating there on the, around the back. I was talking about Shadow East Base. Oh yes. But yeah. Yes, that has got that is that is that has been quite beat up as well. Quite a lot of blows from these chronosphere attacks. An Emerald Pit has been uh, pretty idle for the uh, for the main part of the well. race as well. Although I am seeing a couple of engineers entering uh, two Borillos here, and Yunru. Hmm. But yeah, it looks like uh, there's going to be a, sh a bit of a paradigm shift here. So we see quite a large force here moving down to the south. Yep. Taking care of the easy target first, I guess. 
Got some terror drones, got some uh, half tracks, some kill ins, uh, sentinels I see, uh, one apocalypse, one Nuba, mm. Tesla troopers, a lot of uh, gyrocopters. Nuke is almost ready though. Ooh, exciting. Whenever that's gonna hit. Yes, uh, there's quite a large force here coming from the south. Yes. I wonder if they would. Uh... They're gonna gang up on the poor guy here. Got his lab back up and running. Uprising needs to come uh, to the rescue here. Yeah. See that shadow he is moving in. There we go. Because you could probably just sh overwhelm the air defense, of course, or we could just walk, or fly around them. There isn't a lot of defense around the. Uh, Small choke point between the bases. If you could squeeze in between there, then that might uh, give him enough of an advantage to get around the back of Roger's base and take him out. I see that uh, Admiral Pitt is uh, moving in the uh, ever so closer. Mm -hmm. But he has to take care of yes, the Yes, he's, he's slowly first. crawling. He's slowly crawling towards everything. He's doing everything step by step. Mm -hmm. He's not taking any risks with this. Taking it nice and easy. Ooh, several terror drones. And I think I just heard a lion die. Poor lion. I think I just heard a lion die. Hector Doomhammer, 2014. Rip lion, <laughs> rip. Yeah, Avril Pitt is actually moving his forces towards the forces. Yeah, he's al he's already done a couple of. Uh, he's uh, sent out a couple of uh, terror drones first. Soften up a bit of the uh, armor here. Taking out some of the flak, uh, some of the half tracks. An uprising Jesse needs to push now. Nice, Abrams wow. are taking care of the, uh, there is, there is, the tanks. Yeah, it looks like uh, not a lot is going to be happening here with, uh, with Roger. Nope. Seems things are a bit at a standstill. I don't think he's actually, has he built anything? I'm not exactly sure what's uh, what's what's happening. Well, Roger, oh no, he's building things. Yeah, he's building he's, things. he's he's get, he's getting out the killing tanks. And uh, I see that uprising's got a small uh, troop of rock tears ready. Uh -huh. Say doom. Yeah. I lost a nuke. Do you have it? Because I don't see it. We had a timer for a nuke, right? Somewhere. Admiral Where did Pitt. that happen? Where, where did that disappear off to? Oh, he, he destroyed that. I think Uprising actually used his... Uh... Oh, well, we got a little uh... attack here in the north as well. In Uprising's base. Mm. Crazy mm. items. I think that uh, the Barracudas were used uh, to get rid of... Oh, the, that the is very... Silo. That is quite possible, yeah. And they were so busy trying to... Uh, oh, here we go. Got the apocalypse in action here. Lovely blue Tesla shells. Yeah. Just strolling in. Mm -hmm. I lost a nuke! Do you have it? Admiral Pitt sitting at 33,000 at the moment. He's swimming in money. Morocco yeah, I don't back. think. He... Yeah, Roger is it is done for. Chronosphere activated. Oh, what's this? Knock knock. A small troop of uh, present It's Siegfried. Siegfried going it's Siegfried after... and friends. Lightning storm act. Come on, activate it now. Oh, too late. Too late. Oh, it was ready, but not activated. Lightning storm Garrett destroyed. That is a very, very damn close call. Mm -hmm. Oh. What happened? 
some uh, chronosphere was activated, but I'm not sure what on what exactly. But it looks like uh, Siegfried and friends are uh, making a non-stop tour to destroy uh, everything in their path. Yeah. Going for the Air Force Command again. headquarters. Again. Better be careful if uh, no one uses Siegfried's deploy. No. To my utter dismay. Uh huh. And in the meantime, Roger is just uh, basically getting which is such a damn shame because it is such a great weapon. Well. Yep. Well, Warhawks taking care of the power. Yes, they might as well try and do as much damage as they can, but I don't think it's uh, going to be a whole lot of help here. Nope. Admiral Pitt doesn't even need the Iron Curtain to take care of uh, Roger here. Yeah. Yeah, Roger has been much done for unless uh, something drastically wrong goes uh, happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think Roger's gonna survive this one. And mm, no, no, I, I, I am just doing nothing I dare to, to help his ally here. Yeah, now he's sending his uh, Mirage tanks down, but it's way too late. Yeah, true. It's very true. Way too late. Absolute swarm here. They're all over him. Lasers. Lasers? And lasers. Yeah, surprised to see that uh, Uprising hasn't... E or uh, Uprising, sorry. Admiral Pitt has, hasn't even used uh, his Centurion at all. No, I don't think he's he's have he's had to use it yet. Nope, pretty much not. Air Force Command Center in uh, Shadow East Base is back. Some minor damage done as well, but uh, he's just recovering from it. Indeed. Ooh, but some uh, Rocketeers and several uh, Mirage tanks coming to the rescue. Uh -huh. Uprising coming here to save his ally. A little too late, if you ask me. No construction yeah, yard, no radar. Oh, yes, there yeah. is still a radar. There is Indeed. still a radar. There is, there is still a radar and a uh, war factory, so he could build another MCV. Yep. Roger could indeed. Uh, he could get back on top of this if the uh, assailants could be beaten back. Not sure that that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen either. Yeah, this is not looking good for him either way. This is quite a bleak, uh, quite a bleak match for him. Uh -huh. I mean, we've got a couple of Sentinels and uh, Ostracks taking care of the uh, to take care of uh, the Rocketeers, and uh, the Warhawks are, are there to take care of the uh, Mirage tanks. Mm-hmm. Pretty much all around, well defended. Of course, there's low power here, so he's pretty much a sitting duck. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. No defenses. And two gorillas moving to the back here. Let's see what they do. Yeah. He's trying to destroy uh, war factory here. Maybe steal some cash. Maybe uh, take control of something. Because I think that these are the two that has have the uh, engineers in them. Mhm. Mm no, they're going for Ooh. the radar. They're going for the radar. Yes, of course. If he can destroy the radar, then he can disable MCV building. Yep. Wow. Which is uh, which would pretty much spell rich. Uh, God, which would spell Roger's doom. Lightning storm. Oh, and a lightning storm. But it is too late. There is not much that can be done left for uh, for Roger. Nope. No radar. So no power. So no war factory. So no barracks. Reason to know. Yes. So. Let's see again. This is not looking Shadow E. Yes, again he is getting full radar. brunt. Yeah. He is he is taking the brunt of this attack, which has been doing for quite a while. I mean, uh, uprising has been really hammering into him. Uh -huh. Really doing the best he could, while at the same time trying to defend uh, his ally. Well, if this uh, keeps up, then we won't have time for another match. 
because we've been streaming for uh, 19, mi 19 minutes already. Really? Goodness. Yeah. We have we have just flown through the matches today. How many have we in, to in total? This would probably, with a little luck, be the second complete one. No, the first. Oh, the first! Oh my god, that would be the first match that's completed. That is amazing. Yep. So, just the uh, tier 1 tanks for Roger. Unfortunately, those tanks won't be able to be produced. Oh, he, he still has uh, his lap, so he could even uh, get some new ones out. But I don't think it's gonna last that much longer here. Yeah, I don't think so either. This is uh, just a matter of time. And there it goes. So with nothing but the lap standing, Roger, it's been a pleasure. Is right? that the last thing that's standing? I think it is. Only his battle labs left. Yep. Well, well then. Yep. <laughs> Oops, I might have jinxed the match here. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, I'm goodness. saying that it was the only one. Yep, Bam. there goes uh, Roger. And now Uprising is... Exit, exit Roger right stage, I suppose. Yep. Oh, goodness, they just cannot give the guy anything. Gotta kill the elephant as well. You monsters. Mm -hmm. Now, on your chat, I see that you may have jinxed the match. Yay, we're jinxing did I jinx, stuff. Did I jinx the match? <laughs> we're oh, jinxing yes, indeed. stuff. Uh, yes, I should have... I, I, I should have hushed my mouth. I will, uh... Formerly knock on wood here. Yep. Chronosphere activated. Sinking some Dumping of the tanks several here. Abrams tanks and uh, a couple a of killings in the water. Yep. Uh, Cody, I don't think you get to play today because uh, I already told Zenithus that I want to stop a little earlier today. Hmm. Because of the Yes, who knows rest. how long this is going to drag? I am not sure. I think that this could be the only match. Uh, I think that editing this stream will be uh, a relative breeze because this is going to be the only match that I'll uh, post up. Well, yes, then I guess that's a lot less work for you then. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, another card if you're activated. Another card activated. Nice! Right in the middle with a Centurion and an MCV and an Iron. Oh my goodness! We've with an MCV. IFVs here and as well. Yes, those are oh Ivan IFVs. Oh my god, IFVs. that is just, that is looking painful. And crazy Ivan IFVs. This is amazing. Look at that. I think that they were what waiting is going on? for this. I think that they were waiting for this moment. They were waiting for this. This is their, this is their coup de grace. Yep. Look at that. Wow, what a surprise. And deploying an MC right in the middle. Do they have, uh, Something ready for that. Yes, War Factory Grenade right Yes, away. they do. They have a War Factory ready. Oh my god. In before Kirov. In the, yeah, if it's a Kirov, it's a fucking it's Kirov. A Kirov. Of course it is. It's a goddamn Kirov. Look at that. And the hammer defense. Right on their goddamn front doorstep. That is fantastic. I think this is already in the hallway. That is amazing. <laughs> that this? is holy crap. Nice. <laughs> that is so great. Mogasm! <laughs> yeah, that's one way you can do it, of course. Yeah. Oh. And the Centurion had the Cyborg uh, prototypes in them. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Cyber prototypes as well. This is, ju this is just golden. And this now is great. This, this just totally made the match. Yes. Just for the sheer balls of it. That is incredible. Uh -huh. And a hammer defense as well. That is just wow. Yep. Seems he was just uh... waiting for this to happen. That is incredible. Yep. Oh, he doesn't have any power left. Oh, or and there was no power. no power either? No. Nope. Shit, son. And there Stuff goes is economy. about to get fucked up. Kirov going for the refinery right there. Yeah, going wow. for the refinery. Doesn't have a lot of life left though in it. And what do you know? We've this got an airborne. Oh, and, and building a barracks. What? Yeah, oh, airborne damn. and an airborne and damn, a. Damn, uh, some... What you Coming around from the Blood south with the, uh, the Warhawks. Shit. And Bloodhounds.
God damn. Barracks right there, producing... Yeah, uh... can it collapse on top of the MCV? No, it just gives it a miss. Ooh, 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 barely, oh, no, barely, no, no. barely escaping. It will drop a bomb. If it can drop the bomb. It can. What oh, is it going to? He's moving for the... Cyber, he's cyber for the, uh, Oh the my radar. god. Balls, man. This has got balls all, all written all over it. And a force field used by Uprising to save his radar. Well, man, look at the pressure God being... God damn! Yeah. Finally done with this. I think Uprising realizes there's pretty much nothing he can do anymore. Yeah, he says finish me, Pit. Damn. That is absolutely incredible. This this was quite the finale. I did not expect that. Uh huh. And a couple of base waves as well. This is look. This is looking incredible. Yep. Because Shadow E actually managed to get a little base up running here in the yeah. south. Yeah, that's a lot of selling out here. That is great. Fantastic. Uh huh. Ampit just redeploying his MCV. Player defeated. And it's over! Ooh. Wow. I, uh. Doom? I think that. I think there was literally no other way. I think there was. No, we don't have a choice. We must end on that. Yeah. Absolutely. That is that is that is you can't top that. We can't top that today. That's that's pretty damn incredible. Almost an hour of match. The only match that we finished to the end. But wow. Uh, I think it was more than an hour. I think it was. It, yeah, I'm seeing 55, 58 here. Okay. I I would I would still call that an hour anyway. This is incredible. Ugh. That was amazing. Well, yeah. props, folks. That was that was quite the show. I was uh, having a couple of doubts there, but that was uh, that was good. That was real great. All right. So with that, folks, we are going to close things off a little early here today. Yes, I think that's all we have. I suppose that's all we have uh, tonight. But um, all right. Next, uh, maybe perhaps next uh, Wednesday we'll do a bit longer. Maybe. As a uh, to compensate. Yeah. But all right. Good night, everybody. Good night. I see you next time. <laughs>